Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time we had a banquet with the Emperor, and he suddenly wanted peace. So, in order to obtain this peace, we have to stop the Espers from going on another rampage. Because they kind of ripped ass in Vector. So, in order to do that, we need to go hunt them down. So, we're about to leave from Malbrook, but first we need to stay at the inn. I'm really sorry for how long the last video was. I really should have cut it sooner. Anyway, just talk to the innkeeper. General Lira already made arrangements for your stay here tonight, by all means. Thank you. Fun. Fun, fun, silly, willy fun. But the inn chimed in. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm not controlling this, FYI. Celeste. Wow. Celeste. Please. Why won't you talk to me? I know I doubted you. If only for a moment, but... We can still be friends, right? Celeste. Oh, jeez. That's heartbreaking. I mean, after what happened with Rochelle, and now he's finally learning to like someone again, and that happens? Jesus. Lockman. Anyway, we need to go back to the harbor now, so let's roll. Actually, kind of awkward thinking that Leo and Celeste used to work together, because they're both generals and everything. Yeah, that's just weird. She's so young, and he's so... not young. Alright, let's go. He's probably, like, early 30s, maybe. Late 20s, early 30s, and Celeste is... 17, 18, I think. But yeah, we are sailing. I'm on a boat, bitch! Ha! Ah. Love that song. Anywho, what have we here? The engines are all running smoothly, sir. We should arrive tomorrow morning. Why don't you rest until then? Hmm, funny. Time only seems to go by in cutscenes. For all I know, this could have been happening all in one day. Anyway, we control terror here and we can just talk. Keep away from the engine room. It's dangerous. Then where do we sleep? Dr. Leo? Having trouble sleeping. Hmm. I hear your emotions have returned. Let me resituate myself. Here we go. Sorry. I'm easily cramped. It's strange, isn't it? The Empire used me, controlled my very thoughts, and now here I am, cooperating with the same people. People are people. Not everyone in the Empire is like Kefka. So, what about you? I knew that you were half Esper and being made to suffer through horrible experiments. Yet I did nothing. I'm no better than Kefka. Wow. If a human and an Esper can love each other, do you think a human and I could ever fall in love? Could ever love each other? Of course. But, I don't even know what it feels like to love someone. You're still young. Someday you'll know. I'm sure of it. Well, technically, she just woke up not even a year ago in Narsh, so... She doesn't have a whole lot of memories of her life, so... But... I want to know now. Aw, oh, Tara. Who's there?
I thought I'd sleep out under the star under the stars. Did you hear what we were talking about? I didn't mean to listen in. Mm, dude. So I can't help you. Those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. How insightful. Damn, man. Tara. There are people in this world who have chosen to kill their own emotions. Remember that. I think that's the most he's ever spoken. Huh? Uh, oh. Uh. Um. Oh. Uh. Uh. Um. You okay there, Locke? <laughs> uh. World's greatest treasure hunter reduced to this. <laughs> Seasick? <laughs> oh, I love you, Locke. You are so silly. Anyway, we are just about there. We control Terra again! <sighs> Excuse me. We're almost across an island. Rumor has it that the lost power of magic can still be found on Crescent Island, weak though it may be. Neat! We're almost Crescent Island. When we make landfall, we'll split into two groups. I'll go with Celeste. Terror, you go with Lock and Shadow. If you find any clues as to where the Espers may be hiding, report back at once. Alright, let's roll. Let's go. Shadow. We get Shadow again! Awesome! Um, lock. I, um... Come on. Lock, man! Come on, lock. She was... That's one part I didn't understand. Why didn't he just talk to her? That, that was mean of him. Anyway, we're on land now. And we have Shadow in our team. So let's optimize him. And look at that now. He has an assassin's dagger, which is very fitting for an assassin. I'm not going to even go through the trouble of trying to teach him any magics. I think he will always be level 20. I'm not even going to equip him. I'm just putting that on him because I can. Anywho, our destination is up here. Hopefully we get into a fight so Shadow isn't completely useless. Here we go. We're the Berarius. Nothing too major, just tap the A button and you'll kill it. It does, however, have an attack all sneeze. Ooh. Terra learned Thundara, Blizzara, and Fyra. Go, Terra. We can finally get you off of Madawin. Get you off of Daddy. That sounds wrong. Give you Golem. Because Locke is still on Seraph. Okay, let's move. Because we got lots of money now. Get up here and go into the town. Welcome to Thamasa. This place is evil. Oh wow. You don't we don't see many travelers around here. And trust me, this place has some of the best equipment in the first half. So we have mithril rods, fire rods, ice rods, and thunder rods. You remember what a thunder rod does, so it's very useful. Morning star, and we can buy Hawkeyes. There's also a heavy lance and some darts for other characters. Um, sure, why not? And I can give him a Genji glove, and we can just let loose. We also have golden shields, tiger masks, which are very useful headgear for uh, Sabin and Gao. We have tiaras, which are virtually useless, but we do also have golden helmets for other people. We have the mystery veils. This is also very good, so I'm grabbing one. We can buy power sashes, but I'm going for the Gaia gear. There's also golden armor here, but the guy here is awesome. So I'm I'm buying a few. Four. And I'm going to buy a golden armor for a tear. Oh, trust me, this is awesome. So, optimize her. 
and optimize lock. And then, we just go to relics over here, get rid of probably the Zypher Cloak, he already has a good enough evasion rating. And give him the Genji Glove, his defense drops, but he has two Hawkeyes now, go him. And being in the back row, that's actually a pretty good option, so I'd go for it. Um, items, generic anyway, in the middle barrel we have eye drops. Go us. Up here we have another barrel with a gold needle, and we also have this relic shop. Inside here we can buy a few new things, mainly dragoon boots. If that's your thing, buy a pair, or two, or three, or whatever. Buy a pair. Get out of the room lock. Um, people around here. Espers, what in the world are those? They're some kind of beast. You should ask the old man who lives at the on the edge of town. I'll keep that in mind. The innkeeper doesn't like strangers. Always overcharges them. If you want to know what that means, um, let's go talk to him. You're outsiders. It's going to cost you 1,500 gil if you want to stay here. I think in the Super Nintendo version, he charges you uh, 10 thou. But we're not paying, so uh, fuck that. Anyway, up here is another house, but first, in this barrel is an echo screen. I always used to call that eco screen, but whatever. In this house is the elder's house. Let's talk to him. Welcome, welcome. Magic, what's that? Hmm. Seems a little too convenient, doesn't it? So, they were talking about the guy who lives on the edge of town. I assume this is the guy. But first, let's check around some more. Hmm? Where did that voice come from? A mom and a daughter. Mama, I got an owie. Oh, alright. Here... What? Hi. Yo. Yes, I think I left the medicine in the curio cabinet. Mama, why won't you use cure on me? I smell BS, people. So much for what's magic. Anyway, come up here. Hmm? Where did that voice come from? There are two instances in the town where this can happen. Fire! Fire! Huh. Huh? Uh-oh. Doesn't know magic my ass. Check this barrel for a green cherry. Alright. Anyway, let's check this house now. Inside we have a strange looking dude. So let's talk to him. What brings you young folks to see me? Oh wait, another character? An elderly gentleman who has spent his whole life pursuing the secrets of monsters. Meet Strago. I don't like using him, but whatever. He's very interesting anyway. Mespers, eh? Hmm. Haven't heard that word in years. So you know about Espers? Nope, can't say I do. Not a thing. Not. One. Thing. Something's fishy here. Yeah, I'm... You're telling me, guys. Grandpa? Um... Hmm? Oh. Hello. Hey! What do you think you're doing, young missy? Another one already? Jesus! In her picture, she captures everything. Forests, water, light, the very essence of the things she paints. Meet Realm. She is the most destructive magic user in the game. No lie. But, I still don't like using her. Grandpa... Who are they? Are they friends? Can they use magic too? Sh shush! You've given it away. What a cute doggy! Back off. He bites. Uh oh. Go back to your room. Why do I have to go to my room? You never let me have any fun. Because I said so. Now shoo. Fine. And... 
Is Interceptor... Oh dear. Seems to have taken a liking to your dog. Hmm. Um, did she just kidnap Interceptor? Oh my god. That child. My apologies. It's fine. He usually doesn't like other people, though. Anyhow, I'm terribly sorry, but I really don't think I can be of any help to you folks. I... Um... Uh, I see. We're just your ordinary, quiet little village. You're not going to find anyone who knows about any of those desperate things here, I'm afraid. Not in Thermosa. Hmm. There's something strange about this place. Let's have a look around the village. Thanks for your time. Sorry, I couldn't have been more helpful. Interceptor. Bye-bye. The doggy likes the girl. Anyway, the last house to check out is this one. Have you met Realm? She paints. I should see if she'd paint my picture. The dude, you really don't want that. Anyway, um, with nothing else to do, let's stay at the inn. Now that you've talked to Strago, they don't consider you outsiders. One gill per night. Why not relax for a spell? Uh, sure. One gill a night? Anyway. We're resting, and we're having a good old time, and we wake up at night. Strago? Oh, jeez. Throw us out of bed, why not? You gotta help me. Realm, she's... Something happened to Realm? Yes, she, she was on fire. And then it caught the neighbor's house on fire, and... Oh, I can't even think straight anymore, but... Please, you have to help her. Um, okay. Shadow. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's roll. Interceptor. Where did you go? Shadow likes his dog. Next time, everyone, we'll go towards the fire. This has been Fenrir, and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.